What's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Maximum coins we must endure. I'm a little late. I fell asleep watching fucking Gordon Ramsay make pork chops, and, uh... I wasn't feeling all that great yesterday, uh, and today I felt better. And now I feel pretty good. So, that was a good nap. I gotta say, man, the people that film Gordon Ramsay cooking his, his amazing, um, dishes, lucky, lucky motherfuckers. That, that is a job I would like to have. Also, Vine Crush is now available. Thank you, Cryptid. Um, thank you, Alex, for the Vine High, aka Kirby, waving high. And, um, there's a couple other ones on the way. So, anyone who's making emotes right now, lovely. This is Coin Game Part 2. Uh, some of you want to hear my, um, Captain Picard TV show uh, thoughts and opinions, and I will do that for you. But first, let's... Let's jump into coin game, because video games are why I'm here, primarily. Dreams tonight, too. How do I load the game? Oh, right here. Load. Okay. So, um, if you missed Sunday, I did some coin game. I feel like this is a good opportunity to stream more of it. Um, I have tea, Earl Grey hot. Uh, in honor of the Picard show that I watched. Remember, I have a lot of art tonight, so I'm going to be ending a little bit earlier. Not too much, just enough that I can get through the art. But, uh, yeah, uh, the Picard show, we'll talk about that soon, so don't- don't you worry. Uh, overall, I am very mixed about it. But, we'll get there when we get there. Hmm. So let's win some... Let's win some games. Oh god. Oh, God. Oh, I got one. Man, this sure beats video games. Doesn't it? Moving balls with a stick. Back in my day, that was... that was all we had. Oh, they have another? Point push? I like these damn coin push mini games, even though I'm now kind of joking about how um, these games kind of suck. <laughs> I can't help it. I played one exactly like this that had um, like star shapes. Same kind of thing. The physics in this game are actually surprisingly good. No, I'm not doing Picard discussion right now. I'm gonna wait a little bit and, and I'm gonna play... Oh, cool. I'm gonna play a little bit, wait for people to join in, and then I'll do some Picard discussion. What was the... there was something I wanted to mention. Oh, fucking... The Church of Scientology allegedly killed the dog of the lead singer of Mars Volta, Cedric Bixler Zalvala, because he talked shit about them. Are you kidding me? I, I couldn't believe it. The headline, it was the second time. It was the second. Look it up. Type Mars Volta dog Scientology whatever. I it's absolutely insane. I read that headline, I had to do a double take. I did a triple take. Now, I say allegedly to protect my own ass, but go read the story, because... It, it's like, it, it... I read it, I'm like, no. No. 
No, that's fake. That can't be real. It's real. I like Cedric, too. It's a, it's a shame. That's, that's a real fucking shame. So there we're gonna have to start. <laughs> we're starting the stream with some good news. It's really the worst kind of news ever, but holy fuck. Um, I thought I was dreaming still. I woke up, I saw the headline, I'm like, no. Nope. It's times like this that those documentaries are even more necessary. over there. If I can. Get that hundred. Yeah! Hundo! Over a thousand on five dollars. That's not too bad. I can buy half of a shitty slingshot now. Um, did you know koalas have smooth brains? Someone linked me to an article. It was a picture of a koala brain being very smooth. And it's like if you put a dish of eucalyptus leaves in front of them, they won't know what they are. Because the brains are so smooth. It's nice to be vindicated about smooth brains. Like, I thought that it was just a joke that, like, if your brain is smooth and not wrinkly, you'd be, like, dumb. Is your brain smooth? Uh, at 3 a.m. it is. And every time after and before 3 a.m. usually, yep, sure. Oh my god. It's getting some pretty big coinage here, chat. This is- this is remarkable. This is like half of what I made in the previous stream. All in one game. If only I could just like... Wow. If only I could just knock into the machine. I'm gonna turn those off, because, uh, you know how things is. Joby. Someone said, Vin, Hades has me addicted. Yep. I know that feel. God damn it, ball. Any you missed grabbing your tickets from the butterfly game? No, I got them. Power. You definitely missed them. Check again. Did I... Like, they're not over there. Robot? Vinny, they clearly are. Oh. You're right, the butterfly catch. Oh, the butterfly catch! I was like, what is the mermaids and- I was looking at mermaids and sp- Yep, we're- we're smooth-braining. Yeah. Come on, get the hundred. Fucking hell, what a terrible game of skee-ball. Awful. Just the worst. Oh, get me off of this machine. Fuck this machine. 
Yeah, no, I got- that was real smooth of me. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Alright. Man, Earl Grey is very good. Earl Grey is just absolutely fantastic when it's done right. It's, it's usually, how do you fuck up tea, right? These are, um, these are fun rigged machines, usually. Like, they will stop on the one after. Look at that! Rigged! Why would they rig it in a video game, though? Oh no. How much money is it? It's like two bucks. Yo, no, that was good. That was good, chat. That was good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! What do you got, a sparkler? Oh. Jesus Christ. All of tickets. Yep, I remember this one. I remember this one. They just win 500 tickets. Yeah, if only it was this fucking easy in real life. Man, I would definitely be able to win that Wii U game they have on display over at the arcade in Wildwood, if it was that easy. Vinny skee-ball tickets. Oh yeah! <laughs> God, I keep forgetting my tickets! Oh. Get two balls. And there's nowhere to go for this machine, huh? I mean, I started at 500 and now... OW! I started at the top. Secret... Technique. noise. Come on. 2.50, not bad. Take it. Are there bigger, like, um, prizes in this arcade? Vinny, are you still feeling feverish at all? No, not really. Not feverish. Um, I had a headache today, but not feverish. Um, definitely that calmed down. I think it's mostly just the weather. It got real, real cold. Chat, what? 
Not a lot of tickets. Make them all blue. All blue. Oops, all blue. Take it. How many tickets is that? Three oh one, sure. Cool. Just toss it. Someone said, Why does this game make me want to spend all my money at an arcade? Yep. Motherfucker! Please! <laughs> One more. Someone says this feels very Sunday stream-like. Oh, I streamed it on Sunday. This is part two. This is the continuation of Sunday stream, which is a rarity. Whoa, that was cool. It's a tough one. Maybe come back to that one at some point. Not the most amount of tickets for your money either. Man, they have all these cool prizes. They got the... the farce Ship Enterprise. They have laser sword sabers. Just gonna go ahead and take one of these things if you don't mind. No? Okay. Saturn, star. I like them aliens. And that lava lamp. Moon rock. Real moon rock. Who's, who's this Daffy pal? Popcorn Pete and friends. Right. The Back to the Future um, hoverboards and Back to the Future. Um, can, can Bob jib, jib later? It's the flux capacitor. That's, that's the one. But yeah, I was, um, I was watching, like, the top ten worst, or it was on Gordon Ramsay's channel. It was, like, the worst, um, experiences he had with pizza, and these gross-looking pizza. Like, chef, here's a sushi pizza for you. And then, like, other ones where the dough was raw. It was only one time where he liked something and it was crab and then the shrimp was gross. It's raw! But then it kind of auto-played into Gordon Ramsay cooking and the way he does his cooking, like, he tells you like, Alright, olive oil in the pan. Alright. Season nicely. Thyme. Pepper. He could just make up different things that don't exist. Dumplets. Ringans. Put them in for a nice, savory, aromatic smell. Alright. Put some McClunky in there. Beautiful. Alright. Ligaments. Delicious. It's like, dude, are, yes, I want those. I'll put them in whatever you want, Gordon. Whatever you say, it sounds good to me. The way you say it, vast difference. <laughs> Thank you, Desert. Yes. Oh, this is a SpongeBob machine, usually, chat. The SpongeBob machine has the, um... This little hole thing here. Like, 
Like, why do I even know that this is a SpongeBob machine outside of this game? It shouldn't- I shouldn't know these things. Clever way to avoid copyright. Well, take a look at this popcorn, pal. It's a- it's a bit spongish. At, at coin. Except for when I'm not. Ah, oh, that was... It was horse shit. I mean, you can win big on these because you collect the cards, but... I think in coin game, our, our time can be spent in other avenues of disappointment. Come on, cow. So, everybody, uh, Star Trek Picard. I considered doing a separate video about it entirely. No, it wasn't that bad. I, I actually liked some of it. There was a little bit more... Um, the fan service was good in some ways, and, I, and there was a little bit more relation to the old shows than I thought. However, there was a Curlin Nescar cameo, that's right. However, but this picture should show you all you need to know. Um, this is a, a, not a spoiler because it happened so early on. Now, this is Captain Picard. He's 90 years old in this show. And he's being tossed back um, by an explosion. That's Captain Picard. That's him. Sorry, Admiral Picard. Whatever. And, uh, he, oh, he, he just had a nap after that, and he's fine. Not even a scar. No problem. Um, and here's the other thing. Thank you, Dave, for taking these uh, pictures and gifts. So this is a character in the show... They do this. That CG is cool, right? That's Star Trek. When you look at that, you think about Star Trek. No, I think about CW mutants. I think about like a CW show. Um, I will say I really liked the alien designs and stuff. Oh, wait a minute. That's unrelated picture. Don't worry about that. I, I really like the aliens. Um, they brought back some interesting stuff from TNG. And um, I'm curious to see where they're going to advance the plot in relation to what happened with the Romulans. Uh, Data was great. Uh, Brent Spiner still has it. I won't spoil any major plot points, but it is just episode one. So there's not much to spoil yet, but I, I will say what they're doing with the destruction of Romulus based on what happened in the Star Trek 2009 movie. I, it's kind of... I, I kind of wish they wouldn't count that, but since they're doing it, it's like, all right, fine, what happens? What's going to happen? Um, I was saying last night, I really wish they started doing this Picard show like eight years ago because Patrick Stewart smokes a lot of weed for his arthritis, and he his voice is, is very um, hoarse. And, uh... Yeah, he does. He's got... He's got arthritis. He's good. He's, his acting was very good. But I cannot deny that there is something missing, which is at the height of TNG, Picard, so much power came from his voice. Yes, cow! Whoa, what the fuck? Uh. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Data, the CG was much better on Data. And there's some intrigue relating to Data that I thought could have been better, but I'm, I'm interested to see where it goes in relation to positronic brains and stuff. Anyway, essentially, I'm 50-50 because it looks like generic slop. Like, I, I really don't like the way Star Trek looks on CBS. 
but there were some good performances. I think it's better than Discovery, and I'm interested in seeing where it goes, but the previews for the pre next episodes had me a little worried. It, it got very, like, like budget Marvel, and that has, has me kind of like, ugh, really? The music was a little generic, but there were some moments where it was good. I will say, though, it didn't need... There was some, like, super emotional, punctuated music constantly. And it just didn't need that. Like, they're not letting the performances just be themselves. Like, they have to put, like, epic music behind all of them. So, yep, it's more CBS Star Trek. Yes, it's better CBS Star Trek. Yes, it has a very good... Um feel to it compared like like all the stuff that happened at uh the federation base at uh in san francisco was kind of cool like it, you know they had the uniforms Devo devoted do um 50-50. Some people love this show. Some people are like, not a restroom. Some people are like, oh, it's amazing. It's great. And the Entertainment Weekly is like, can this show recover from its embarrassing, trashy first episode? I think I'm somewhere in the middle. It's nice to see Patrick Stewart back. I know we're going to see Riker. Data is great. Um, and again, I'm interested in at least seeing where this Romulan plotline goes. But... It's, it's a little rough. I just wish they would do a Star Trek show that was, that was more close in tone to what Roddenberry had in mind. And, um, you know, go back to exploring space and go on a trek. You know, a Star Trek. That would be fun. So, there you go. That's my review so far of episode one of Picard. It could have better episodes later. That's just based on the pilot. Eh, we'll see. The EW review of Picard also hated Witcher and only watched two episodes. Oh, that's the same one? Oh, it's the clickbait reviewer. Now, it wasn't terrible. It was not terrible. There was genuinely some interesting moments, and I, I liked... Um, even though the, the look of the show is very g generic CBS, I gotta say, there were a couple moments that were shot really well. I was like, oh, that's cool. But it, it was funny. It was easy to make fun of, and it was kind of hilarious at times. And, and, you know, you don't want your Star Trek show to be unintentionally hilarious. So. So, alright, it's good to have Patrick Stewart and Picard back. And... Let's see. Let's see what happens from here. The fucking Curlin Nescar was in the background. I kept hearing in my head the generic pot breaking sound effect. Computer! Turn off that noise! Did you like the Romulan villain design? Uh, I don't really... I don't know about that. Yeah. At least it feels a little bit more classic than whatever the fuck they did with Klingons in Star Trek Discovery. As long as they stick to the proper aesthetic of the alien races because, you know, they look a certain way as they have for years, you know, and just update it minimally, I'm fine with that. The Enterprise D made a little cameo appearance and it looked great. I was like, oh, they bought the license to that? But then apparently Sphinx said that Viacom and CBS merged around the time the show was being made, so they have the rights to all this stuff. I don't know anymore. I just want a good show, and it's it's like halfway there, but there we go. Now I finally know how to play laser tag. Why is that one flying? 
Um, oh, because, never mind. Ow. Game over. Are we still getting legally distinct Spock? Well, in Discovery, you have legally distinct Spock. There's no Spock in in TN in uh, in this show. It was cool, I guess. Laser tag. It was all right. I'm gonna uh, redeem my tickets real quick and see what I can afford, and then play more games, and then explore the open world, which is in this game for some reason. Can drive the golf cart outside the first arcade. See. I could buy an alien. Fun capacitor, huh? Light sword, red light sword, blue hoverboard. Wow, those are expensive. Now, chat, I gotta get this. Look, chat, it's the legally distinct Enterprise from Star Trek Picard. Wow. <laughs> they have now subway tokens where you can, or subway, uh, like MTA cards with Picard on them in the city. I try to get one eventually, but. Kind of cool, I guess. I got the Bowie ones when they did that. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the other areas. Um, someone said go to the first arcade for... ...a golf cart. Why is it wishing you a happy birthday, Vin? I don't know. Still no tap cards? I don't think we have tap cards in New York City. Vinny, that legally distinct thing was never real. CBS debunked it after a week, like a week after the rumor. Fair enough. I mean, I'm happy. Listen, I think it's just a hilarious phrase at this point. Wow. It just back to the future. But, um, I don't really trust CBS, nor do I trust Alex Kurtzman. Um, with Star Trek, so, you know, I'm glad that I, it was incorrect, but until I saw it, I was, I was convinced that maybe it was going to be trash. Vinny, I've been watching your stream for at least five years now, and I only just now noticed that your first few months sub is a toilet. I feel stupid. Larry's Arcade. Get in that ass, Larry. Man, one of the best memories I have is being in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. And um, it was called Eagle Lake, I believe. It was uh, my friend had a house there and a couple of my friends went. It's like 10 years ago. And, uh, Eagle Lake, Poconos, Pennsylvania, riding golf carts around in the woods. And just going mental. Not that mental, because it was a golf cart, but it was so fucking fun. Chat, where am I going? This is kind of scary. We're going 
We're on a road to nowhere. Come on inside. Oh no, wait a minute. Am I running out of gas? in the Truman Show. No, if I was in the Truman Show, there would just be a bunch of traffic all at once for no reason. They're going to investigate a golf cart at the end of the road, terrorizing people. Here's Larry's. What the fuck is this place? Again, this is like really weirdly detailed. There's a lot to do for a, a game about spending coins at an arcade. Vinny... The gas. What, what about it? Was there gas over there that I could have... Jerry's gas and go. That's what I need. I need Jerry's gas and go. Jerry! Jerry and Larry. Someone's a Seinfeld fan, huh? Ascended. I now have thirty one point two gas. Use the gasoline to burn down the arcade. Okay, fucking Milton from the office space. Right, it's not the office space, is it? We're going to burn the whole building down. I forgot that I had a gun. I ain't do much, but... Twenty-five dollar. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play one of these lotto tickets. Thanks. Hey, how you doing? It's me, this, this Bruce Willis. Yeah, trunk full, trunk full, trunk full, trunk full. Alright, great. Now... Now, where to? Just explore a little bit, and then uh, there's another arcade that we can go to.
What? Am, am I okay? Excuse me, sir. Got anything in here? <laughs> sir, you seem to be stopped. Mm. Niner. <laughs> That's what they say, right? They just say stuff like that. Vinny, you can deliver papers. I, do I want to, though? You can, but that's like a new job. Yeah, I, I saw that the bus drifted. That was... It's pretty cool, I guess. If you deliver mail, you get money, but that's best for survival mode. Oh, I see. Deliver one paper, at least. Why would robots need mail? Ah. Uh. They have Wi-Fi, what does it matter? They need the Garfield comics. Okay. Yep. <laughs> That's how that works. Yeah, I don't have a good joke. My brain isn't... ...isn't good enough. It's not fast enough. To come up with a good robot mail pun. Is it always nighttime in this game? It seems so. It's the best time to go to an arcade. Okay, so there's... Mountains. It's, this is just mountains. This is Arcade GTA. I don't know what to do over here. Um, Rockstar sent me a calendar. An old-timey looking calendar with horts and bears and like... Various creatures from Red Dead 2. I didn't take any pictures of it, but I will at some point. It's it's cool. I'm you know it's nice. I like it. Whoa! I'm good. And it's uh yeah it's just a couple of it's just a, you know it's a calendar, but it's nice. Is Wolfman on the calendar? I don't believe so, no. I didn't see anything like that. Just horts and bears and opossums and I don't know. A whole lot of creatures, Dutch. <laughs> Critters! That's right. Uh oh. Fucked it! Shit. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if I do... No? Eh, never mind. Oh, shit.
This is the same, like, engine... Like, I'm expecting Slenderman... Or some, like, janky... Faux horror villain... To appear from the woods. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's just this look... The way everything feels and looks... I've seen it so many times. Hundreds of times. Mostly for really bad horror games. So... Like, this is pretty much... This is slender right here. You're looking at it. Yeah, it's Unity. I mean, you can even hear the default Unity jump sound effect. Alright, we'll go to the pier. Goodbye, golf cart. I need to see the limo go away. I, I love that so much. Um, let's do eight rides. Start with eight rides. Over here. Come on, let's have some fun. Oh, these are janky as fuck, aren't they? It's like the most basic ass coin pusher games you could get you could get on the market. Someone just like put this together in like their backyard. I wasn't expecting an actual carnival. Yeah, it's kind of cool when you go to Wildwood. I'm sure many of you that live anywhere near an ocean or have been anywhere near an ocean that has like rides and stuff are gonna know what I'm talking about. But one of the reasons I love I love Wildwood, there's three big piers that jut out into the ocean, where it's just this into the middle of the ocean. It's cool. Myrtle Beach. Weird thing about that is, um. So that Alexa thing has Earth Cam, and you can't choose the location. You can only say, Alexa, show me someplace interesting. It'll be like, sure, showing you Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And, like, I like to look at that at, like, 5 a.m. For a couple minutes before I go to bed, because it's it's been kind of weird. The problem with that is, though, you can't choose where you want to look. So I it keeps going back to fucking Myrtle Beach at 5 in the morning, and no one's there, nothing's happening. Or, here's New York City, and it's just a, like, a, a static view of Times Square, and it's not interesting. It's just lights and advertisements. Meanwhile, Earth Cam has so many cool cameras. Bill. Chat, what the fuck is this? You've never- no, I never played this one. You gotta make it stay in the dip? Oh, this one sucks. Pee-pee. Have any of you ever been to Chicago? I have. I was at the Navy Pier, but I was not at any carnivals or, you know, anything like this. I don't understand. Make it stay in the dip? Like this? Plus one game credit? Um... can't choose one. It 
In fact, I can't do much of anything. I think freeing the camera screwed this up. Here we go. I can get hammer or cr I'm gonna get the crayon. Jeez, I think your mom's calling, kid. Winning too much. I won a shitty crayon, dude. I rolled your shitty bowling ball like six times, please. Come on down, folks. Pop a balloon. Pop a pop a balloon. Everybody, it's your host, Carl. One old who wants to be a winner. Do you have a Zeppeli? Hey, you got you got any fried Oreos? But is that a funnel cake? Elephant ears, deep fried dough. Yeah, same thing. The goose. One duck for two bucks. Yes, please. Who's next? I was, I was born to play this game. One prize credit. You, you wait a minute. You just wait a minute. Did you just pick a duck? Not a winner. Games in quotation marks. How about? Did you ever see the one where you have to throw rings? around the bottles, or you have to, like, flip the frogs onto their lily pads. They still have that one in Wildwood. I, I gotta get the snake. Aw, oh, man, I can't even cheat. It's stuck again. Oh, there we go. Man, I love those two when I was a kid. Jesus. Hey, easiest game in town now. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, plug it up, up. <laughs> It's exactly. Oh, you can have all this. Clean this up. This hey, plug it up, Bob. Up. Plug it up, up, up. Here, I got you. I'll help out. I'm helping. Next, I bought you there, gold chain. Come on, there, the best Come on, there, gold chain. Couple more races now. Come on, here we there go. Come on. Pork, pork is butthole. All right, the grid of hounds is all set. We're just waiting for the flag. Oh my God! Even the music is perfect. I won. Nope. Two one. Time to take a shit. I got one credit though. I guess we'll get the hammer. Ooh, nice pick. Really like those. Why do you like these? <laughs> Why does anyone like these? I never understood the appeal of the giant plushie or giant, like, inflatable object because then it's just. There's no room. You can't. Where do you put them? Bad smell air, here we go. Oh man, chat, I did one of these at Six Flags. 
on the tallest roller coaster. King Daka. It has something called Zuminjaro, which is basically this on the side of it. And I can do any roller coaster, no problem. This fucking thing, my testicles went up and out of my body and ascended into the heavens. I wanted to puke and die all at the same time, but mainly just puke. It was a lot of fun, though. It was the slow build-up, like, because I have some, um, like, I have a slight bit of vertigo, and roller coasters, by the time you're at the top, it's just, you're just all, you know, you're going on the roller coaster, you're fine, but shit like that, you have too long to process what's happening. Sucks. There's one where you face the floor? Oh no, no, no. We've seen worse. I've played fucking... played Bappy games that have scarier moments than this. in the distance. They gotta be careful, man. If they don't gate this off, there could be possum, bears, raccoons. I saw a raccoon the other day. I think it was... I don't even know we have raccoons on Staten Island, but there was a raccoon right on... No, 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 garbage. We don't have... We don't have coyotes. We, yeah, we got possums, raccoons, we got lots of fun things, but I- you almost never see them, so I just didn't think I would- I would see one crossing the street. It's like, wow, okay. I-, I you- you forget when you live anywhere near a big city, sometimes you forget that, like, nature is- is real and not artificial. You know, and is not the artificial part of what's happening. Because, you know, they just plant trees every couple of, you know, every couple meters. You have a tree, here's a tree, here's a tree. Okay, we got a cordoned off park. And then, yeah. That's why, again, I'm glad I live on Staten Island because we have lots of really nice parks. I like the parks a lot. It's a good way to reconnect with Sephiroth. I mean, nature. And... <laughs> Yes, that's the Swedish chef singing the Sephiroth theme. That is correct. What's going on in here? Is this a hoot nanny? Oh, zoom. It's like when Barrett and Cloud went on their date. The gold saucer. This robot. These robots all kind of look like little vibrators, don't they? This one's wearing an umbrella hat, though, so... Just vibing. He just vibing. Thanks for the emotes, chat. This is the perfect emotes for that exact moment. Thanks. Vinny, jump. I don't think that's gonna be happening. I can't get out of here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in here. No, 
it just brings you back to the bottom. Alright, I'm going to the hoot nanny. Damn it. I'm not old enough for the hoot nanny. The whirly durly. Three bucks for three. Ooh, all right. We got a sniper here, folks. Fucking hot dogs. Thanks. See, folks, people actually win here. Oh, fuck these. Man, that's a Tommy gun, too. Jeez. Uh, I remember the first time I played this. The first time I was allowed to play one of these. When I was old enough, it was a glorious moment. Man, this game just captures so much of my child life. CHILD LIFE! It's way harder than this game makes it look. Oh yeah, totally. I, I was miserable at that game. Make no mistake. Are you saying? Plug it in, bup, bup. Is that it, chat? Is there anything else to do here? I mean, there's a couple rides, but I don't really want to do the rides. There's basketball. I want, um, only lemonade. Sounds good, one lemonade. This past year when I went to uh, Wildwood, I got one of the lemon lemonades. I can speak. I can say words, I swear. And it was just sugar. And a giant lemon put inside of it. It was good. It was good, but afterwards I felt like my teeth were vibrating. The easiest game to win. Easiest game to win. You passed basketball. Why can't I see the damn basketball? Isn't that weird? Oh, well, hang on a minute. It's the lily pad game. No. Good luck, youngster. Here's your can. Hi, youngster. How you doing, now, youngster? That's a fucking shock. Oh. Whoo, great toss, and here's your prize. Playing some nine inch nails on this thing? Fuck! Oh 
me. There it goes. <laughs> we will forever remember that hot dog. Hey, shoot star, step right up, let's go. Still haven't found basketball. Is this basketball? No, this is basketball. No, the ducks. Vinny, vine blind. What, what, really? Fucking really? Am I vine blinding that hard? Balloon time, bet. This is what happens when you're so blind that you step outside of yourself and observe your weird corneas. Three shots. Good luck, youngster. Street shot on little 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 youngster. Come on there, youngster. If I'm worse, even. Damn ice cream. Yeah. I hate the misalignment on this basketball. It needs to be realigned. Nice fucking hands, dude. Down to my last five bucks. So close. This is it. I got it. I got it this time. Not enough coins. Fuck. Broke. Uncle Phil, I need more money. God damn it. God damn it. Where's my hot dog?
Okay, I, I guess I just walk underwater now. What does this look like? Cue X-Files music. So this, there's no arcade games. Like, there's carny games, but there's no arcade games here, right? This isn't another arcade. Okay. Well, I need to go to an arcade anyway, because I am out of money. A fucking basketball game. All right, there is the, the coin push. There is the coin push. Go to the fireworks stand for some explosives. I like explosives. Hey, God bless America, man. It's Frankie. Woo! What can I get you? I guess nothing. Smoking? This robot is smoking. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop. Sir! First, let's go home. First, and then uh, I will, you know, get some more money, then we'll check out the fireworks, then I'll play a couple more games, and then dreams. So, hang up all my cool stuff. There goes the hot dog right there. Let's flip that. That's good. Cow, you can go up here. Snack. Snack, you probably just. Hmm. All right, Snack, you can. That's good. Star Trek Picard. Hema. Force Hema. Now you need to stand up properly. Otherwise, it's not quite a display, is it? You need to... Cow's butt. Great. Hall of Champions. Hello. Still don't know if Goose... Or duck. Or mallard. Um, apparently the duck can watch TV on its own. Sorry, the super goose can, can, it's a swan. What, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, but apparently it can turn the TV on itself. Isn't it nice you just, you come home after a long night. Every night is night, there's no day. Everyone is always out partying. No one actually does anything. No one has a job. And then when you're done, you just come home and watch some TV with your swan. You don't sleep because you're... I mean, well, look at you. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't realize you were an alien-human hybrid, but you are. You thirsty? We're gonna do this bit again. Yeah, it's a good bit. I know, I liked the bit too when I did it on Sunday. And you're stuck.
Oh, that's what that was. It was a magic salt lamp. Is that the fucking banana from peanut butter jelly time? All of your wildest dreams will come true if you own this. It's advertising in a nutshell. I'm something of a visual artist myself. Great. I spent enough time home. It's, you know, it's time to go out again and do what everyone does. Play more arcade games. And that's it. Go to Big Arcade? I did. You are the only human in this universe. And it's always your birthday, every day. This is like being on Europa. And after a couple years, it's not as perfect as you think it is. It seems like paradise, and then soon enough you realize it's a hell of your own creation. Money, 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 money. Chat, I'm gonna reveal a secret, which is I was a stupid kid. Not for all things, but for many things. I'll, I'll give you an example. One of the reasons I remember this is because I used to play... My uncle would uh, get me lottery tickets, like the scratch-offs with the cherries on them. And... I remember one time I won five bucks and I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. So, not my Uncle Phil, my Uncle Sal. So, anyway, he gets me these tickets, right? I win five bucks. I have to have my grandfather cash them in so I could get the money, otherwise they wouldn't give it to me because I'm a kid, right? And then with that five bucks, I got another five tickets. And I didn't win. So then I had to spend my own money to get more, but my grandfather wouldn't get them for me. So, I had to get another family member to get them for me. And then I lost again. And then I stopped. But, anyway, that wasn't the main story. The main story was that reminded me of another story, which was I got a spam mail one time. It must have been like 10, and it was like, You win $300,000! Right, one of those. And, you know, it had all the right information. And I was like, that's definitely, I'm reading it over and over and over again. I'm showing my family this stuff, and I'm like, I think I won. I think we won. And, and they're like, no, you probably didn't win. And so I continued to go through all the information, and eventually I found it. It took me like a full 24 hours of conv being convinced that I won $300,000, that there was some stipulation... And there was some wording that was, like, vague enough that made it seem like, Oh, you just have to mail this in with a certain amount of money or whatever it was, and you win! Turns out that was incorrect. Completely incorrect. It was all bullshit, and... Uh, one of my other friends got the same letter with, with his name on it instead. I'm like, wait, no, mine's legit. Yours is fake. And then I realized, it, like, it was like a light went on. Oh, I see, Kermit. So. Hey, God bless America, man. It's Frankie. Woo! What can I get you? One it turns player. out a bunch of people got the same exact fucking thing. So, yeah, that was not unique to me. And a lot of, um, it turns out a bunch of my friends actually had the same exact experience. God, I wish these would explode. Yes, blow up the rest of the fireworks. Vinny, did anyone else get the knives one? Your friend should have watched Doug. I watched Doug. There was an episode like that, though. There was. Yeah, it was going around. Most families got it. I'll tell you what, I did get something in the mail about knives. And I have no idea why. 
It was like, here's some knives you can purchase. Just send the money on in and we'll send you some knives. And uh, I, I like knives. They're cool. It wasn't the pyramid scheme knives. It was just a catalog. There was, there was a knife pyramid scheme happening at one point. This was not that. This was recently I got this in the mail. Hey, little fella, it's Frankie here. What can I get for you? You're not allowed to send knives through mail. Guess what? I've ordered a knife through Amazon that looked dope. Like, a couple years ago. And, uh, yeah, I got it. Do you still have it? Somewhere. I have a, I have several knives because I'm one of those weirdos that thought knives were cool when I was younger. So I ended up like semi collecting them along with flashlights. Listen, I know I'm a weirdo. That's why I fucking stream. Yes, flashlight. I have I have two swords as well. Yes. Two swords. I have a couple knives and I have um like four flashlights? I don't know. They just look cool as fuck. Chat, they're like little mini lightsabers. And with LED technology, they're so bright now. Like, these fucking things last so long. They're real bright. And they help you find missing objects. Picks? Uh, I don't have any. One day, maybe I could take a picture of my flashlight. Also, I have a headlamp that came with a free flashlight that I got from... God almighty, why am I saying this? Woot.com like seven or eight or eight years ago. <laughs> and yes, yes, I swear to God, it was cheap. And it's it's like um what's it called? Hang on a second. I don't know what the hell this thing is. LED lenser, I guess. When I was putting my computer together, this headlamp was invaluable. Genuinely an excellent is this an ad? No, 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 it's not a, it's not an ad. <laughs> I'm sorry that you even have to question that. But that's how these things go on the internet these days. Like you listen to a podcast and Mark Marin's talking about how someone fucking died. And he's like, and you know, folks, when someone dies, you really want to go see Shameless. It's a really great TV show starring whatever, whatever. I'm like, wait, Mark what? How, what? How the fuck do you do this? I like his podcast enough that I don't really care, but it's just so... It's so seamless that I almost feel like... Dude, that was really good. I can't even fault you for that. But anyway, uh, the point is, yeah, I got this headlamp and it was really invaluable for putting my computer together. I looked like a twat, but... It worked nicely. Yay, fireworks. Vinny, tell us about your Raid Shadow Legends collection. Ah, yes! Well... I would love to. Vinny, they were selling bigger fireworks? No. Vinny, do you have creme rolled yet? Oh yeah, I got creme rolled in Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, they got smoke bombs. Cool. Hey, what's going on? It's Frank here. What can I do for? Thanks again. Here's your smoke. Strike. Two men out. No base running. A wind up. Here's the pitch. And there's a high foul ball to the right of first base. Putting it the wind is dying. Hey, little buddy, you gonna blow some stuff up? <laughs> Aren't you happy I bought all this hey, stuff? What's going on? It's Frank here. What can I do you for? Thanks for stopping at Frankie's. Here's your rockets. Whoa. It's fucking 
smoke. I'm playing Turok. Hey, what can I do you for? Welcome to Franks. 116 shot of Kaboom coming right up. Yo. 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 Ah, uh, <laughs> that last one didn't work. Then he buy fifty of them. I, I can't. Hey, howdy, happy New Year, happy Fourth, whatever. Happy blow stuff. One sixteen shot of kaboom coming right up. Someone said, is this what living in America looks like? Wow, that was a fucking heavy yeet. Um, is this what living in America looks like? Banned in New York, everybody. No fireworks in New York. No such things. Super banned. If you get caught transporting fireworks from Pennsylvania back into New York, you can go to jail. So in some places, sure, but not New York. Because they just don't want people fucking destroying themselves. New York State or just the city? I believe it's New York State. They use fireworks anyway. I mean, if you were here for my 4th of July stream, I got a chance to walk around a little bit, drive around. People were shooting off fireworks anyway. I guess the theory is, if everyone is shooting fireworks off, then nobody can get in trouble, but... You know someone's getting arrested. Someone. But it still happens. I mean, I don't know what it's like in Manhattan. I don't know how many people are setting off fireworks in the streets of Manhattan, but on Staten Island, there's enough nooks and crannies where you can shoot off a fucking bar bottle rocket and not get into too much trouble. And if you know that your neighbors are going to do it, you can shoot off a couple and then just blame them. And then everyone just ends up shooting off fire. It, however, it's still like 25% of what it used to be. People used to go mental with the fireworks. Not anymore. Is it because of gunshots? No, New York is not a overly crime-ridden city in terms of like gunshots. I've never even... not once. It's just... I think it's just because it's dangerous. Oh, uh, it used to be. It used to be really, really, really bad in the 80s and 70s in New York, but now it's... Now it's okay. Now it's all about surviving edged weapons. So, my Muppet bit from yesterday, I got a, a number of requests, including um, from actually one of my mods to get that uploaded without the background noise, just on its own. And due to the magic of current technology, we were able to do that. Yes, it was David. And, um, no, it was you. Um, the idea being, you know, the Muppets as influencers might be a good animated. It is on the Extra Sauce channel. If anyone doesn't know about the Extra Sauce channel, John Full Sauce maintains a little uh, side channel with a bunch of random stuff, including technical problems. If you like technical problems, that's the channel for you. But yeah, there's some cool stuff on there. Just some odds and ends, bips and bobs, bobs and open, open and bobs. Yeah, 
get in there. Yeah. Vinny, if I wanted to watch technical problems, I would just watch it live. All right. See, now you're Walder and Stet Stetlar. <laughs> what is it? Stet <laughs> Stetler and Waldorf. If I wanted technical problems, I just watch live. Stetlarf. Wow. Wow, I had a mini stroke there. I'm gonna play this um, until my money runs out and then buy one more prize. And then we'll do dreams. This is the best bang for your buck that you can get, I think. Yeah, push. Come on, push. Yeah, I won't forget my tickets this time. Do you think Disney Plus will add the Muppet Show? I think I know the answer to that question, which is no, because of the complicated rights for all the guest appearances and music that they played on the Muppet Show back in the day, and Disney doesn't want to fork out the money to get all those uh, rights and licenses. So, nope. The answer, I think, is, is a big no on that one. Ah, yes, Disney, mishandling the Muppets since whenever the fuck they acquired them. Wow, that was amazing. I'm just assuming. I mean, that's something I've read, but I don't know for sure if that's even true, but that's, that's my assumption about it. I've heard that there are a lot of complicated rights from the 70s and 80s that would make it difficult, so... But there, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can still watch the Muppet Show. Now, twice in a row? The hell? Vinny, are you asking me to pirate the Muppet Show? I, I did not say that at all. I had, yeah, yes. Yes, no, no, don't do it, because Tim Curry as Long John Silver would be very, very pleased, and you don't... You don't want that to happen. Oh fuck, I gotta get those tickets. I will, I'll get them. Bonus soda. Nice. Good tickets there. I wonder if there's any games that I missed. We can get another 500 on this one. Vinny, you missed the ticket. Ticket. Oh, 
I think I got him. I definitely didn't succeed at this one. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? What's on the other side? Okay, I'll stop. I just, I get a little upset. Oh, whoa, whoa. It, it's since I watched that Muppet movie, I think it, like once every two days, I listen to Rainbow Connection again. Like the saddest song sung by a fake Muppet person. I mean, Kermit's real, obviously, but I mean, you know. Very sad song. Then I sent you an email titled Muppet Movie Secrets Concerning the Insane Practical Effects They Use in the Movie. I did see that. I didn't get a chance to really get in, like, read all of it, but I did see a bunch of it. Um, like, Muppets riding bicycles is the most fucking fascinating thing. Like the way they made Fozzie drive a car, stuff like that. It's really, really interesting. Yeah, I did laser tag. It was, it was okay. I don't like this game. I think when those tickets come out at the end, that doesn't mean they're actually happening. I promise you that's not my voice. See, the tickets are coming out, right, right, right? And then they disappear. They go into the ground and then they just disappear. Alright. My arch nemesis, the skee-ball machine. I'm not gonna actually end up spending all the money because... I think it's just gonna get a little repetitive. I've already played almost all of these games. I already have played all the games. Maybe the shitty arcade has a couple I didn't play. Spend it on fireworks? Sure, we can do Big Bada Boom. One more Big Bada Boom, sure. Fucker. <laughs> Fuck! Awful. Those I forgot. Wow, ten. Did you see how ten tickets were two giant piles? God, what a waste of paper. Papilla. We'll do this one again, chat. Uber team is teasing Observer 2 on their Twitter. That would be cool. Play the fuck out of Observer 2. Shame about Rucker Hauer. We're not going to have him again, but...
Stardust. Do you just like snort this? Oh, they have those cool. How much are those things? Hey, birthday kid. The, the fucking electricity orbs. They're not even for sale. Oh, wait, they are. Plasma Ball. 12,000. Mm, no. Do not piss in the money machine. Step right up and take a shit. There's going to be a lot of fireworks with this money. It's going to be fun. can afford 11 of the big ones now. I could do that or I could do mortars. I do big thunder. Hey, howdy, happy new year, happy fourth, whatever, happy. Right, one box of mortars coming right up. One? Hey, what can I do you for? Welcome to Frank's. Oh man, where am I going to light this stuff? I think I'm just going to like try to bring it here. It's the closest, darkest area I can find. Oh shit. Alright, well wherever that is. Oh shit. Damn it. On my own strength. <laughs> Guess I'll just bring them down to the beach. In that case. Because they're all over the fucking place now. I wonder how many will never be found. Get over here. Uh, I found two. I found uh, three. I found three. What well, four? Maybe I, that might have been four. Go over there. This one, how the fuck did I get this one down here? Jesus. One is back at the stand now. That one was crusty. So that's four. One was used. One's, there's one near a tree. Okay. It's, it's four and this will probably not be worth it. That's okay. And that's the crusty one that was used already. One was never thrown. Yeah, that's the... <laughs> never mind. Uh, let's see where... Oh, here's one. It is a mystery. We, we will light four 
in the interest of saving our own time. Maybe it landed in the water. Mm. Someone said, which arcade game is this? It's called Be a Jackhole. Be a Jackhole on the beach. Nothing. All right, let's do it. here I will return now to my people Why do I hear this dude still? <laughs> nice moon. This needs Paul McCartney's face on it, it would be right. Man, if I ever decide to play this game again, I'm gonna be very pissed at my past self for saving in the middle of the fucking ocean like this. to the moon. Oh, it's actually a sphere? Just a model. Man, I thought the moon was flat. It really is the Truman Show. It's like, amuse yourself, light fireworks, go to the arcade, hang out with your pet swan, Vinny. But ultimately, none of this is real. And you can't escape. Is there anything directly below the moon in the water? I didn't see anything. I, I am almost positive there's no Easter eggs out here, but I could be wrong. I mean, who knows? This game is full of little easter eggs and goose. And no. Alright, well I'm gonna save here and I'm gonna take a quick break and be back with dreams. That was fun. Coin game is good. Sure I didn't get all the prizes I wanted, but that's okay. I don't know who raided the channel, but thank you. Hi, everybody. Um, bad news, that's the end of Coin Game, and Dreams is next. I'm gonna play a song. I was talking about Foo Fighters the other day, and how much I liked their first album, and almost anything they put out in the past 10 years I'm not into. But, going to play the song that reminded me of them in the first place, which is, this is a call. 
Stick around.